Hi, CP Algebra 1. Mr. Up here. Hey, it's, uh, we're going to be going over solving quadratic equations. I hope that exercise in Schoology for 8 and 9 it worked out well for you. So, and I hope you're all doing well. So, let's go through this. Solving quadratics using quadratics using square root second solve. Okay, perfect. So, the first thing is we want to remember what our perfect squares look like. Okay, so we have those. So if we take about take about look at the 125, it's going to be root 25 times 5, which breaks up to 25 times root 5, which square root of 25 is 5, so I get 5 root 5. Okay, and then when we have root 72, 72 falls some here. Pardon me. One more coming. Okay, so 72, so 36 times 2 is going to work, so I'm going to do 2 times 36 times 2, because 36 times 2 is 72, so 36 is the biggest perfect square. Square root of 36 is 6, and then I'm going to multiply these outside terms together, so I get 12 root 2. And then this last one, let's see. It's going to be tough to look at, so I'm going to just go ahead and multiply the two outside things together first. So I'm going to get 10 out there, but then I'm going to get 15. 15 is 5 times 3, and 20 is 2 times 10, and 10 is 2 times 5. Okay, so now perfect squares are pairs of numbers. So that would give us a perfect square and coming outside as well as that. So square root of the 5, 5 is going to be 5 because that's 25, square root of 25. Square root of 2, 2, which is 4, it's going to give me 2. And then the only thing left back inside is the 3. Multiply together what we have here. So I get 10 times 5 is 50, times 2 is 100. So we get 100 root 3. Okay, so we have solved these. Oops. Let me go back, I'm sorry. We solved these, we solved these, and then what about this one? Hmm, I can't really take the square root of that. Maybe I could add 20 to the other side and get that. But now I have this square root. Well, what undoes a square root? Or a square? A square root, okay. Now the thing that we have to understand is if we do the square root of both sides, there's gonna be a positive nine and negative. So I get plus or minus root 20. So I'm going to break 20 up using our thing, which is 4 and 5. Square root of 4 is 2, so I get 2 root 5. So the answer to this one, and I don't know if they wanted to do it or not, but we just jumped ahead, gives me an answer. Square root plus or minus 2 root 5. There's two components. They always come in pairs. So we want to get this equal to 0. So this would be an example of a perfect square. So if I, if I subtract a 5 from both sides, I'd get x squared minus 4 equals 0. And then you would just break that up into x plus 2, x minus 2 equals 0. So then you get x equals negative 2 and x equals positive 2. Okay, but if the, we did it the other way where I did x squared and I set it equal to that, and then I'm going to take the square root of both sides. I'm going to get x equals, don't forget, the positive and negative 2. So this has two answers. So does this one. They're both done the same way. But the big thing that you can't forget with these is you have to have that plus minus sign there. A little different thought process, okay? So again, it's still talking about we're going to have two answers. So we're going to have to have the positive and negative. And you take the square root of both sides, okay? All right, so let's think about this one. If I add 32 to the other side, I get this. If I divide each side by 2, I get this. 2 goes in 32 16 times. If I take the square root of both sides, don't forget the plus minus, I get, what's the square root of 16? Well, that's one of our perfect squares, so I get plus or minus square root 4. That's two answers. There's a positive answer and a negative answer.
All right, so what if I, we don't have a perfect square? So let's go add 12, add 12. So I get 3x squared is equal to 24. Divide by 3, divide by 3. So now I'm ready to take the square root. Don't forget the plus minus. But then you have to break down square root 8. Square root 8 breaks down to 4 times 2, which is square root 4 times square root 2. So that gives me 2 root 2. So I'm going to replace that down here. So my answer to this is actually comes out to plus or minus 2 root 2. Again, there's two answers. Okay, so let's go with this. Add 20. 2x squared is equal to 40. That's 20 plus 20. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x squared equals 20. Didn't we just work this one out? Don't forget the plus minus. Plus minus 2 root 5. Because remember, 20 breaks down to 4 times 5. 4 is the biggest perfect square. Let's see here. Subtract 27, subtract 27. Divide by 3, divide by 3. Uh-oh, square root, but I have a square root of a negative. Um, this is going to be no real solution, because I can't take the square root of a negative number. Uh, in later math classes, you will actually get this to become this as an answer. I represents that we would have had a negative under the square root, but we're not doing that here, so we're not going to worry about this at this point. Okay. So take a look at the homework that is given. Uh, the answers are posted as well as the odd answers are um, have a little video clip to each of them. Have a great day. Take care of one another. Bye-bye.